What's up, guys and pals? It's your boy Vino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, the other day, my wife came home with a box of these. These are sellers, or as they call them in my neighborhood, Chella's chocolate covered strawberries. They come in dark chocolate and they come in milk chocolate. And in my neighborhood and in my family, these are a hardcore tradition, especially during the holidays, whether it's Christmas or Mother's Day or Valentine's Day. It's normally when you would see them. And, uh, you know, the stores would stock up on them and everybody and their mother would buy them, you know? So anyway, I had one the other day for the first time in quite some time, and I said to myself, oh my God. I gotta make these into a cocktail somehow. So I got my thinking cap on, I, put, I, I played around with some bottles, and I figured out something that I think tastes very close to the candy. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. I think it's the perfect holiday cocktail. So make sure you stick around, because we're gonna boogie down. All right, guys. So, uh, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn these bad boys into a cocktail. I already did, and I think it comes really close to the candy. I think it's delicious. As a matter of fact, my wife tried it, who hates boozy cocktails, and she said that is actually pretty damn close. So I'm I'm confident that if you guys try it, you will think the same. All right. Now let's look at what's in the saucer. The first thing we're gonna use is an ounce and a half of cognac, or you could use a brandy as well. Originally, I thought of using a bourbon because I want to use a dark spirit, and bourbon is already a little bit of a sweeter dark spirit but I said to myself you know what cognac already has some kind of inherent chocolate and cherry flavors in it some, some delicious notes of that so I said this is gonna be the perfect spirit to do with it all right guys so we're gonna go and do an ounce and a half of cognac or brandy whichever one you guys have available all right the next thing we're gonna do, the obvious choice, is some cherry liqueur, right? Now I'm gonna go with cherry herring because you, you can't beat this. This is the most delicious cherry liqueur you're gonna find in the market. It's all, at least in my opinion, it's all cherry, um, it's all natural, there's no artificial flavors in this, it is fantastic. So we're gonna do three quarters an ounce of our cherry liqueur. Um, I strongly suggest cherry herring in this case. You know, normally I tell you guys, yeah, use whatever you got, but in this case you really wanna use cherry herring. Okay, then we're gonna do for our chocolate component, we're going to use some creme de cacao. I originally thought of maybe using some sort of creamy, like a dive of chocolate, but I, I'm not a big fan of creamy cocktails, and I really wanted to stay away from that, so I'm gonna go with a half an ounce of some creme de cacao. All right. And then one of the other flavors that, that I really pick up in the candy is kind of a nutty flavor, almost reminiscent of almonds. So I said to myself, this is the, obviously I gotta use some amaretto here. So I'm gonna use quarter ounce of amaretto just for that hint of almondy nutty flavor that I do get from the candy. All right. And then last but not least, I wanted to make sure I get a little more chocolate flavor in there because these are chocolate covered cherries. Um, but I didn't want to add too much creme de cacao. Uh, so, because I didn't want to make the cocktail too sweet. It's already, a, you know, it's a stiff cocktail, but it's on the sweeter side of the spectrum. So, I went with some chocolate bitters and I'm going to do three dashes, three healthy dashes of chocolate bitters. All right. So, I'm going to get more chocolate notes in my cocktail, but without overwhelming, with, overwhelming it with sweetness. All right. All right. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to add some ice to our mixing glass. All right, and we're gonna want to, this is all boozy, very boozy. You want to go ahead and stir this for at least a good 30 seconds, okay? All right, guys, so I think we gave that a nice, healthy stir. All right, so let's go ahead and get our coop out, which I had chilling like a villain over here in my ass. And then we're gonna get our julep strand in here and pour our cocktail, all right, guys? All right, let's get this bad boy in there. All right, here we go. Beautiful, look at that. That's a nice, pretty color we got there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just add a cocktail cherry, obviously. I mean, it's pretty much the obvious garnish. Um, the cocktail has like those kind of neon red maraschino cherries. I don't keep those in this house because I am not a fan of those in my cocktail. I mean, they're delicious in this thing, but not so much in a cocktail. So what I'm gonna use is a brandied uh, cherry but if you, that I made myself, but if you wanna go ahead and use one of those bright neons, go ahead, who's gonna stop you? Vino ain't coming to your house to stop you. Vino's got other things to do. <laughs> so let's go ahead, it's still on the stem, so I'm just gonna drop that right into my cocktail. And ladies and gentlemen, there is our Chella's cocktail. All right, folks, let's go ahead and give this bad boy a sippy sip. Right in the nose, you're getting the cherry flavors, you're getting the, I mean, the cherry nose, and you're getting chocolate. I mean, it's literally right on the nose, so let's go ahead and give it a sip. Mm. 
so delicious, guys. It is cherries. It is chocolate on the back end. The cognac really is complemented by both the chocolate and the cherry flavors that you're getting from both of the cores. It is so good. I mean, honestly, I'm telling you right now, like this thing, it tastes like a liquid version of this candy. I am so happy with it. I've been eating these candies for a long time, my friends. And so for me to feel confident that this is gonna taste like that, I, you know, I'm, it says a lot. So listen guys, it's a fun cocktail to make. It's a perfect holiday cocktail. If you know someone that loves these or if you're someone that loves them, you should go ahead and make this cocktail. Now, if you think you can actually improve on the cocktail, maybe change it after you've had it, maybe there's something you think you would change, please let me know, put it down in the comments. Also, let me know if you've had these before because these are so delicious. Um, and uh, if you had these before, I'd love to know what you think of them, right folks? Anyway, listen, that is all I got for you folks. I hope you try this cocktail out. Um, remember to like this video, to share, to subscribe, sharing is caring and uh, remember when life gives you lemons you make yourself a cocktail happy holidays folks